This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. This week I'm dealing with two documentaries, not just on any subject, two documentaries on Hollywood. These are films where the movie business looks at itself, and they are both in very different ways. Totally fascinating. The first one is called John Ford, Dreaming the Quiet Man. It comes from the Irish Film Board, and it's about how Ford, who we think of as the great director of Western films, all his life wanted to make a film in Ireland. He wanted to make The Quiet Man. This is how he finally got it done. It's a look at that film and a look at Ford himself. The first name that I saw associated with films that I really reacted to in a strong way, I wanted to be with, whether on television or movies, uh, meaning I wanted to see again and again and, and enjoy, was the name Ford. That was it. I think what it is, is more to do with the relationship with the people, uh, the, uh, that is the, uh, the, the warmth uh, and the, uh, the warmth that I could feel from behind the camera for the characters and for the actors, there's no doubt. The other film, Red Hollywood, directed by Tom Anderson and Noel Birch, is a real iconoclastic film. It's about the screenwriters and directors who were blacklisted because of membership in the Communist Party. The traditional line is that these people put no political slant into their films, but Red Hollywood says, in fact, there was a political slant in the films these men made, and it gives us examples. Totally fascinating, totally different than what you might be expecting. You're only a boy. We don't want to hurt you. The truth, son, that's all we want. Just tell us she was one of your turkey, and you'll go free. Better talk, boy. You better talk. In the late 40s and early 50s, many Hollywood leftists were called before the House Committee on Un-American Activities. What should I do? I don't want to die. What do I do? Save yourself. What did you do to her? The law will take its course. Was Vienna one of you? Well, why she? <laughs> Faced with the dilemma of naming fellow workers as communists or losing their careers, a few chose to save themselves, but most resisted and paid the price of their silence. They were blacklisted. 